Mr. Summers, do you think that Dodd-Frank is working? I think the impulses behind Dodd-Frank were sound. I think you've seen a lot of change towards increased capital and increased liquidity mm -hmm. uh, in the financial system. I think you're starting to see uh, overdue stepping up in consumer financial regulation. I worry that all that needs to be done uh, has to be, will get done in the derivatives uh, area. I think it is deeply demoralizing that uh, the SEC has not been able to act yet on money market funds. Mm -hmm. And I think that the Achilles heel going forward may be the shadow financial system, unless we're able to shadow banking system, unless we're able to take steps there. So I think I'd give it a grade of incomplete, but there's a lot that's happened that I think is very favorable so far. Well, what about the debate that's going on right now on raising uh, the minimum wage? There was a new CBO report that said that this could uh, actually cost half a million jobs or so. Do you buy that? I think that there are a set of macroeconomic effects that are not fully reflected in that CBO report, which would operate to make the impact more favorable. So I think on balance that uh, there's no reason why the United States should be sitting today with a minimum wage that's lower than what the minimum wage was when that fiery liberal Ronald Reagan was uh, president. There's no reason why we should have a minimum wage that in real terms is less than when that well-known anti-business figure Richard Nixon uh, was president. So I think there's scope to raise uh, the minimum wage and to further establish the principle that people who are prepared to work full time shouldn't be under the poverty line in the United States. We've had a couple of uh, weak jobs reports. Do you think given that uh, the Fed should reconsider its tapering strategy? I've been of the view that our primary concerns have to be on the side of slowdown, disinflation and deflation, rather than on the side of concern about the economy overheating. And certainly the recent employment reports corroborate that judgment. Well, speaking of the Fed, is uh, Janet Yellen someone that you've spoken to since her nomination? You know, I just don't get into uh, conversations uh, that I have. I wanted to ask you, would you consider working for uh, another Clinton White House if Hillary Clinton oh, were to be president? I'm not, I'm not going to get into anything of uh, that kind. I am very happy with the life I'm uh, leading as a professor uh, at Harvard and someone who has an opportunity to comment on uh, and think about and speak to a whole range of economic issues.